Welcome back. Whether you have an allergy to gluten or just looking to eat a little healthier, we have some great gluten-free recipes you are sure to love. That's right, Araldo. Here to show us how to whip up some delicious gluten-free dishes and the owner and chef from Beck's Eatery and Catering. Welcome, Chef Becky Geisel. Hi, Becky, Hi, how guys. are you? Hi, good. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure to have you here. I'm excited. Is, excited. I'm, I'm, I'm so, yeah, I don't know where to begin, <laughs> but I'm hungry, I tell you that. It smells amazing. <laughs> well, I just wanted to bring some gluten-free kind of plant-based um, dinner to mm -hmm. you uh, that's going to be easier for people to, with dietary restrictions such as gluten to do on their own at home. Absolutely. And one of the tricks you were talking about was preparation. Yeah, preparing for gluten-free is, mm -hmm. I think, probably the, the, the easiest thing to do when you're preparing a meal at night. So what I've done here is we prepared some kiwa, some chickpeas, some mm -hmm. sweet potatoes. I have some nice dressings here that we've made. Okay. Um, this dressing here is made with cashews and it has oh, wow. no oil in it. So it's a, a good uh, dairy-free vegan mm -hmm. dressing. We also did a red pepper dressing as well. So this adds a lot of flavor into the Buddha bowl for today. Buddha wow. bowl. Yeah. Like when you grab your belly Buddha. <laughs> yes, Buddha it is. It's a feel good. Feel good in, feel good out. Feel good in, feel good out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, better out than in. That's yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> so this is our, our healthy fiber, high protein, good soluble fats in here, lots of vitamin A, B6, and potassium. So yeah. gluten free, right? Yeah. Wow. And we're gonna. St I'm starting today with yes. um, some kiwa. Actually, let's start here. off with that. Absolutely. So the kiwa is a, actually a seed. It's not mm -hmm. a grain. So okay. I but got we educated on that one. That yeah. was a rough one. <laughs> and, and this is why the kiwa is a, a very good gluten uh, free okay. grain to start with. Technically. It's not a grain though, but anyway, we cook this with some uh, vegetable stock mm -hmm. and some um, cumin and some scallions. Great. And then we cook it, and when we put it into these mason jars, and the mm -hmm. reason why I use the mason jars yeah. is because they're already kind of proportioned out. So if you're, you're, True. Uh, if you're watching what you're eating and right. proportion wise, mm -hmm. this particular mason jar is a pint, it's two cups. The okay. one in front is uh, four, four cups, right? Four cups a quart. Okay. So this way and you it's can easy to organize. Yeah, which is right. what I'm loving. The type Absolutely. A me, I was looking at that lots yeah, of ways can, of organizing this. You can label them and then put the date on it. That would mm. be really important. Love so, Becky, where'd you get your passion to do this? Where'd yeah. you get love for this? Where'd you get it? So it started like over 25 years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You've had it in you for a while. <laughs> I mean, I've been cooking gluten free for probably 20, 25 years now. Oh, wow. Um, my mother unfortunately had developed breast cancer, oh. and I self-taught myself macrobiotic. Oh, wow. And when in the process, um, unfortunately, my mother had passed away, mm. but I continued doing the macrobiotic and started okay. working with some nutritionists. Okay. And what was happening is people who had cancers or mm. autoimmune were given, told to stop eating gluten. And this is way before becoming gluten-free was, gluten -free right. was right. trendy. Right. So uh, the nutritionist recommended them to me. And what I started doing was subbing in and out gluten okay. free for regular, like for instance, I brought some flowers with me that are all gluten free. Okay. And um, can you get this at our local grocery store? Yes, this is readily available today. We're really lucky that we live in a, a day today that, that it provides gluten free because 15 years ago you they couldn't find it. Yeah, specialty That's shops. Nice. It was. Yeah. Right. And you could, you know, I would make my own oat flour by grinding oats down oh or my almonds, and that's how you would wow. make your flowers. Amazing. But today <laughs> we little house on a prairie. <laughs> yes. so you're gonna, you're gonna, so you're gonna, you're gonna put on more of this. Thing. Yeah. So, so also we're gonna go that. to the next thing is the chickpeas. Oh, the chickpeas, here. which I love. Yep. So that here. looks seasoned well. Yeah, we roasted these. And I love wow. hummus, so uh, that's yeah. chickpeas. They're made of hummus, so that's that looks great. Great. It looks and then we, appetizing. So I have nice, to ask, for yeah. someone who doesn't know much about this and is just getting introduced to the diet, what are some of the best ways to start getting more formulated with the gluten diet? With the gluten-free diet? The gluten-free diet, yeah. sorry. Uh, really, I, I read a lot. I read a lot of good books from like people like um, Sarah Chapman, uh, Terry mm -hmm. Waters. They all have really good books. They give you a lot of information okay. on where to begin, how to take out some of the uh, gluten, and what to sub back in. Okay. Gotcha. So that's where I kind of started. Old school also, knowledge. Yeah, and also start with whole food. Like mm. you know there's no gluten in chickpeas. You know that there's no gluten in spinach or yeah, sweet potatoes. Yeah, going on. We have some sweet potatoes there. here. Yep. So with the sweet potatoes, we roasted these with some cinnamon and Those some are cumin potatoes? as well. Mm. Yep, these are I white sweet potatoes. So good. I'll get that back to you. Yeah. Yeah, actually I have some sweet potatoes here and some turmeric. So we used the turmeric on the um, 
chickpeas. chickpeas. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's a tubular root yes. that's similar to ginger, but it has the orange color inside. Absolutely. So that's and it's really good for inflammation. Absolutely. I was just going to add, turmeric is great for inflammation. Yep. I take it myself, so and there's proof there. There's yeah. For the Spanish culture, this would be our achote. Achote. <laughs> <laughs> and the Indian culture. And the spinach is next here? Yep, and the spinach is next. So I like to put a little bit of a, a fresh raw green salad with this dish. So okay. we're going to do a little nice. bit of spinach. And then you're going to cut up your guac, right? Yeah, well first before I'm going to do that, I'm going to just add some um, oh, roasted absolutely. red peppers to the spinach. She's beautifying it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to yeah, add some I'm, I'm, olives. I'm ready to eat it. To be honest with you, I'm ready to get a fork and eat this. <laughs> and some nice French lentils, so add a little bit more protein there. Wow. Some tomatoes, and especially in the summertime when you have great, you know, nice heirloom tomatoes. So we, we Becky, you and I, before we started doing this, yeah. uh, we estimated the calorie intake to be somewhere between four and 500 calories, more or less. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere around, around there. there. Yeah. So guys, that's a great, yeah. great dish, really. Yeah, it's a really good dish. And then the, the also on this dish, we're going to add avocados. Oh, avocado, so yes. That's our fave. We love avocado. I just Let's brought cut it right up. two with me. This one's a little soft. Yeah. This is, is that the know, trick when it's too soft? Yeah, you don't want to be. You know it's a no. This is not a good avocado. If it has a little bit color. of give, then we cut it open and then, and then you get a beautiful. much beautiful. All right, let's cut it right yeah. up. Yeah. Nice one. So what we do is we take a spoon. We kind of get, cut it right up, get it right out. There. Put it into the... Bowl, and and then gonna smash it up a little bit. Yeah, right? we're just gonna use a fork. You know, you can use your hands as well. Hands are a very good tool um, in what the kitchen. You, what did you do with the lemon? You said that there was a trick okay. to. Yep. So to keep the avocado the from turning, we add some citric some acid. Lime. So we're gonna add some, some lime to it. Ooh. We're gonna add a little bit of sea salt. Sea salt. And Love some sea salt. Cilantro. To cilantro. That. Nice. You're familiar with that, right? But cilantro. I am. I, which I think it's so weird that there are people who have an aversion to it. I'm Some like, people do, and if they can't do, be friends, you can. <laughs> and we can do parsley. <laughs> oh my so god. Seven's in the friendship. Let's do some parsley. Let's do parsley. Wow. Substitute. That, that, so that then, looks incredible. And then let's get into the dressings because uh, let's get yeah, to the lemon dressing yep. real quickly here because we're running out of time. Yep. So we're gonna let's do put some. some of that. Oh wow. It's the wow. Look at dressing. that, guys. And if you could smell it, you oh want to have God, it. Oh my God! And smell then it. we're gonna add some ro red pepper. Red too. peppers. Yep. Mm. And then oh I like to do a little chia seed or nigella seed ch on top. Ch chia, I'm <laughs> saying that. <laughs> and today we have some nice, pretty uh, purple basil, micro basil on that's there as beautiful. well. And then there's your dish. Oh, that's so perfect, awesome. Becky. That's an amazing. I mean, it looks great. I can't. I'm gonna eat it. as soon as we're done with the set. I'm gonna go and, and eat I'm, it. And I'm like the, <laughs> the, the reference. I, I brought some forks and some nice napkins for you guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. Okay, guys, don't go anywhere. Barbara and I will be right back. Stay tuned.